upcoming start of the new decade marks an important anniversary of the end of one of the bloodiest military conflicts in human history. One America's Christian Rose has more. Victory in Europe brought wild rejoicing throughout the Allied world as the Big Three announced the downfall of Nazi Germany. As the world prepares for joyful celebrations of the New Year's Day, many communities across the globe are bracing for another significant event of the coming year 2020, the 75th anniversary of the end of the Second World War. Back in 1945, the Alliance of Britain, the Soviet Union and the US put the ideals of National Socialism to rest once and for all. And yet, 75 years on, the struggle for freedom is not over, as former allies find themselves at odds with each other, prompting the speculation of the Second Cold War. We are working to reallocate our forces and equipment to priority theaters that enable us to better compete with China and Russia. Indeed, Russian-American ties have been marred by the Kremlin's incursion of Ukraine and a series of political controversies in Washington in recent years. While in Britain, the trust of Russia was undermined by the poisoning of former double agent Sergei Skripal in the town of Salisbury last year. In addition, debates of a future trade deal and a diplomatic scandal over a car crash involving the wife of a US diplomat in Britain caused some tension between London and Washington. All this is prompting renewed calls for better relations. By being willing to put past differences behind us and move forward together, we honour the freedom and democracy once won for us at so great a cost. More than 70 million people lost their lives between 1939 and 1945, roughly half of them being Soviet citizens. And when in January 1945 Russian soldiers walked in through the gates of Auschwitz, they only found 7,000 emaciated people inside, a tiny fraction of the 10 million victims of Holocaust. Another 20 million people were executed or worked to death by the Soviet government in the Gulag labor camps. But the Kremlin has yet to recognize these victims of the socialist machine of political repression. The European Parliament has accepted a resolution which de facto nearly makes equal Hitler's Germany and the Soviet Union. This is sheer nonsense. And although back in 1945 the spirit of cooperation dominated international headlines, today's world appears to be an increasingly competitive and violent environment. Just this outgoing year, collapse of the Russian-American INF nuclear treaty, regional wars and clashes, and rising threats of government surveillance and political repressions make the world a less safe place. The lessons learned in 1945, if mankind would remember them, could make the world a better place for all men forever. President Trump has previously signaled he may attend victory commemorations in Moscow in May 2020, which may be a step to restore mutual relations. And while Britain is set to re-emerge from the Brexit process next year, there are mounting indications in Russia as well, its society is gradually awakening after 20 years of paralysis. <laughs> It remains to be seen if trilateral relations change for the better next year in the face of commemorations of the shared tragedies of the past. Christian Rose, One America News. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One America News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One America News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.